Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo 64 games on your PC. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you're going to need to do is come to this link. Links as always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the free emulator we're going to be using in today's video. In this case, we're going to be using RetroArch. So the first thing you need to do is come here, download the latest stable build, or if you have a specific operating system or requirements, feel free to download any of the other different versions here. Once you have RetroArch downloaded, the first thing you're going to be doing is coming to the main menu right here. We're then going to be coming to the right and we're going to be clicking and loading the load core option right here. Once this opens up, we'll see a list of all currently downloaded cores in our RetroArch. However, if you don't have any, don't worry. What we need to do is come down here to the bottom and we're going to be looking for the download a core option right here. We're going to be selecting this open and here we can see a list of all available cores that we can download for our RetroArch. In this case, we're going to be scrolling all the way down until we see Nintendo dash Nintendo 64. And here we can see one of two options, either Moopin 64 or Parallel N64. In today's video, we're going to be using the Moopin 64 core to actually download and install this. We simply left click or click A on your controller. Some text will appear at the bottom left to say downloading. This might take a couple of seconds. And once the text disappears, your core will be installed and you'll know your core is ready to go once you see the hashtag here on the right hand side. From this point once your core is installed we're ready to back up here to go back to the main menu we're then going to be selecting the load core option here at the top one more time and we're going to be selecting the Moopin64 core that we just downloaded to actually have it activated in our RetroArch. You'll know this is fully set up and ready to go if on the bottom left you can see Moopin64 plus and that means we're ready to go and the core is set up and ready inside RetroArch. From this point we're ready to talk about games and I will mention in today's video I'm not going to be showing you where to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out. However, I currently have my game downloaded here in a .zip file, and inside this zip file, I have a Z64 file. So either of these two files will work with our emulator. In today's video, I'm going to be loading my games directly from a zip. However, if you have files in your .zip and you would like to extract them, we can really easily right click inside Windows, click extract all, and then our file will extract out into the folder. And we can see we have our .z64 file right here. Now, if your game comes in a .7 zip or a .rar format, which is possible with Nintendo 64, games, you will need to download WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract your games. However, I'll be leaving links in the description down below to both 7-Zip and WinRAR in case that happens. Once your games are downloaded and you have them extracted or in a .zip file, what we're going to be doing is coming back to RetroArch. We're going to be coming to the main menu right here and we're going to be clicking on the load content option. Once we select this open, we will then have to locate to and find where our games are currently downloaded. So in my case, I have my games right here in a .zip or a .c64 file. As mentioned in today's video, I'm just going to be loading them up in a .zip. To select our game, we simply click on it. In this case, if we're loading a .zip, we will also have to select load archive rather than browsing inside the archive. And once we select it from this point, we'll notice our game will instantly load up. In this case, we can scale and resize the window however we want. And one nice thing about this emulator is it will actually keep the original aspect ratio of the game that we're playing, which I'm really happy to see. Now, in this case, I would recommend connecting up an external controller for Nintendo 64 games. It'll make your experience a lot better. I won't be showing you in today's video how to set up controllers in RetroArch. However, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below to a previous video where I show you how to set up controllers in RetroArch. It's really easy to do and it'll really improve your gaming experience. Now, from any point when you're playing your games, if you'd like to access the menu or change some of your settings, what you can do is come up to the top left to your command option. We can see some of the audio, disc, and save state options here. However, we can also click open on the menu toggle, which will open up the menu for our emulator. And here we have a bunch of different options, including cheats, on-screen delays, rewind settings, shaders, and a bunch of other cool things that we can play around with. Now I will say if some games are giving you issues, I would recommend coming back out to the main menu here, coming back to your settings, selecting drivers, and experiment with the different video drivers that you have access to here, and also play around with the different cores here for Nintendo 64. Some games and software might work perfectly on one core, however give issues on another, so a little bit of experimentation can be required here. Now this is still a pretty old system, so most computers should be able to run this without any issues. So if you are having any issues, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try help as much as I can. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play Nintendo 64 games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.